Tchau. Tchau. And then I got a call from my brother saying, hey, I got this job working for um, this guy at a winery down in Arizona. Do you want to come help? What guy? And he didn't really tell me who <laughs> at first. And I was like, sure, whatever. Um, and I remember my mom at one point had said like, oh, your 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 older brother, um, my, my half brother, so her son, mm-hmm. uh, he's working for... One of these musicians that you listen to, I forget too. It was Shut some lead the singer. Fuck up, dude. I listened to a lot of punk music also at the time too, so I was <laughs> just like, uh, "It's gonna be some stupid guy, or whatever." On the drive down there, my brother was like, "Hey, so, um, so the job we're going to do is for Maynard James Keenan." So, Jesus, and that was. <laughs> such a pick me up from the darkest place that I had ever been in my life. You know, I even like, you know, to get real dirty about it, uh, really like, like a mock suicide. That's when I shaved my head. Mm. I just imagined just ending my life right there. Um, so you weren't, you weren't in a good place, but never would I actually end my life. Right, right, right. Um, you just had thoughts. Yeah, and yeah. just was like, this needs to shift. All this like, needs to just drain out. Instead of like killing yourself, you sort of killed the image of yeah. yourself. Yeah, right? yeah. I didn't draw any blood. There's nothing yeah, yeah. gruesome in any way. But yeah, just really reset. And then so going to work for Maynard, I was in that. I had lost 35 pounds in the three weeks, the first three weeks down there. So did you meet him? Yeah. Okay. I got to work at his house. Actually. What was he like? Um, so he moved to a little town in Arizona that my family has always been in. Okay, yeah, um, yeah. So that's where my For grandmother the, lives. It's Catechus, right? Is um, the, um, Cadu- Caduceus. Caduceus, um, okay. Vineyards. Yeah. Um, the town is Jerome, Jerome, Arizona. Okay. So that's where Maynard moved. And um, so my brother was just the local drywaller guy there. And so he just needed help for three weeks doing a, a thing inside Maynard's garage, which if you want to talk about being ready for the apocalypse, this dude's this ready. This dude is ready. Nice. He has huge backup generators and you name it. Yeah. By the way, I, I people give a lot of hate and like, you know, derision to preppers. But I mean, what they're doing is pretty logical, right? There's climate. Right. We have, you know, nukes pointed at each other. There's this new kind of like socio-political upheaval happening. I mean, it it just makes sense to, if you've got the resources to right. put and, them towards and that. And we don't even know what the sun can throw at us. Or yeah, what totally. that'll do to us. If or... a solar flare like knocks out all the electricity. Oh, I could get into some cosmology stuff <laughs> i could go way deep into that um wherever you want to go where we, we can go back go? to we can go back to maynard though so is um, he was he cool <laughs> he was way cool yeah like i i was definitely a fanboy so i i i tried not to talk much right 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 but when he would come up and he'd be like well what if we instead of doing this wall like this what if we added a little angle on it just cool it. Cool yeah, yeah. It. Am I about to collaborate with this Maynard guy? <laughs> no, but I got to meet his dog and his his not wife. Um, and uh, saw his kid around, but um, never engaged, obviously. Um, mm-hmm. but yeah, it was cool knowing the the gate code to Maynard's whole. What is it? Thing. <laughs> no, <laughs> I'm just kidding. I actually forget these <laughs> days. Anyway. Forget air quotes. Right. Um. So. So did you kind of take that as like a sign that like you did the right thing in terms of dropping out of college? Yeah, or that I could really just create and have whatever I wanted. Because mm-hmm. during that darkest time of my life, that's when I was listening to a lot of Tool, especially. So then sure, I just even remember trying to just imagine what Maynard would look like because I, I had never looked up an image of him or anything for the longest time the before longest I knew what he looked time. like. I just imagine I imagine him real tall and skinny with like long hair for some reason. I just imagine some. And it's totally like, the opposite. Yeah, I know. <laughs> as soon as I saw a real image of him, I was just blown away. Did you tower over him? He's pretty short, right? He is pretty short. Um, we're uh, he's maybe just like an inch smaller than me. Or oh, okay. Not like, and actually, at the time, um, like I said, like when I first 
went down there. I had our, our I had been drinking a lot and all sorts of stuff. Sure. Um, and um, I was a bit heavier. And then so working for him during even that first three weeks, I had lost thirty pounds. You know, um, none of my clothes were fitting. It was so embarrassing being around him. Like just like. <laughs> just sweating i'm sure like yeah. sweating a lot yeah, yeah all that weight and everything so it was it was, it was a weird time but you it's know, it's it cool that experience. that when i think of tool and and his other projects they all seem like very especially tool though seems very transformational mm-hmm. and it's like a very nice parallel with with your story what you have going on there Right. Yeah. Um, I mean, my family was religious, you know, um, Mm -hmm. conventional, you know, whatever Christianity. Sure. Kind of empty though. Same. (laughs) Like, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, listening to tool was like the, the first insight into actual, actual spirituality for me Mm -hmm. of, uh, of it in a way that actually made sense rather than like the weird metaphors that the Bible's trying to throw at us. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) And it's been, you know, interpreted and translated and edited and, right. and so on and on and on. Many times. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So so that was really magical. So lying there one night after watching The Secret, I was like, wow, I can really have anything that I want. Mm. So then that job only lasted three weeks. Uh we we built what he refers to as the the lab within the bunker. <laughs> the bunker is his um anyway giant like you could probably fit like 12 cars in there or something damn refrigerator <laughs> and then in the back part there's a deep freezer that's also huge that you could park several vehicles in and so he has all these big temperature controlled big iron gates and all sorts of stuff so yeah so could, you didn't have to sign an nda did you no oh, okay cool <laughs> but <laughs> i'm but, just wondering if we'll have on, to like <laughs> no cut this out <laughs> it's all on good terms um yeah 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 i don't know do we need to cut this out mm. um um you don't remember signing anything right i didn't but okay cool my brother <laughs> kind of gave me the lowdown like this isn't really this is also like over 10 years ago this too. is a long time ago yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah well over 10 years ago.